There's a package in for him. He gives it to Samuel. Samuel swallowed up in the backfield. He was hit immediately by Melvin Ingram. Third down. Tebow fakes the inside pitch, and he's in trouble. It'll be fourth down. Along with Chris Todd for much of the 08 season. That's McCaleb in motion. Here's Burns. Whoops. This is the 12th play of the drive. Toss. Ingram looks for blocks, doesn't get him. South Carolina rushes four. McElroy nailed. Not now. They gave him a three man look. But Ingram got inside Carpenter on the left and made the play. Can't go for it on fourth in that long. If South Carolina can do this, Vern, it'll be the first time they've ever won on CBS. What sets the car quest? What is it? Since the Bears, the sack. You need one of those centers that's about 6'5". Big right. old high butt where you just put your hands down there. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, man. Ruth Gray. Dancing around, trying to get out of the grass. Can't do it. Melvin Ingram, who's got a broken hand. Makes pressure, miss, and then delivers the football. He got something to work with here. Brent, nowhere to go. Drop. Allen first, and then Melvin Ingram, the second wave coming through. He, he gets away from Antonio Allen, but the big fella. Florida is 0-4 on third down conversion so far tonight. Brantley pressured again in the pocket, and down he goes again in the pocket. Talked about the time of possession. You saw the discrepancy in the number of plays, and now everything's collapsing on Florida. And that's just a four-man run. Davis has time. Now runs for his life, and it's picked off. 275 pounds defensive end as we mentioned earlier he'll go down inside and play defensive tackle at times and also he can drop in space this defense has done an excellent job South Carolina just 125 yards of offense it's a fake executed to perfection by South Carolina and it's a touchdown South Carolina fake punt 68 yard touchdown there's Ingram right there see him number six the most impressive part of this runs right through, right over a, a potential tackler, and then right there. That is, you can see he had running back skills in his high school days, and he still has them. And there's Brandon Boykin who was back deep for the punt. And this is a defensive end and defensive tackle, Ingram, who's 276 pounds. 321 to go, all three timeouts. South Carolina doesn't have any. Three wide receivers and Murray couldn't even complete his drop. Then he fumbles the football. Jadavian Cloudy knocked it loose. And Melvin Ingram has scored again. They're gonna bring they're bringing a blitz. And Melvin Ingram was on the outside. He was the second part of that of that rush. Well, Clowney knocks the ball out, and Ingram just cleans it up. The Vandy head coach James Franklin likes to call it did not go well that time for the Commodores. No, jump change. Third and seven and under heat again. He loses the football. Scooped up. Headed the other way. Antonio Allen loses it. And it's recovered by Melvin Ingram. Who else? There's Clowney coming off the top. You see the big windmill move. There he is. He knocks the ball out of Smith's hands. There goes Allen. Allen gets the ball ripped. Great play there, but at this point I don't know if it was concussion or something with his eye because that's what they were looking into his eye Smith pulled down by Melvin Ingram from the Gamecocks and this so, this is one where you just got to get rid of the ball it's a loss of five in the fourth sack tonight for a first down Smith dumps it off Stacy big loss Back at the 41-yard line, Melvin Ingram. They lose eight on this. So if there was any shot of maybe a long field goal attempt, they've at midfield. Their average starting field position has been their own 42. That's tipped by Ingram. It's gone out of their way to stop it. In particular, South Carolina. They're coming across the ball. And right there, you see Ingram. First and 10, though, for Vandy from their own 32. 
That was kept by Smith. Fake the handoff. Vandy 0 for 7 on third down. This is a third and 10 for their own 32. Smith under heat. Melvin Ingram sacks him back at the 20-yard line. Ingram is this guy, and Clowney's this guy, and you can't double-team them. I mean, they, they were set up to double-team Clowney, and Ingram got the one-on-one. -on -one. Michael Dyer trying to bounce to the outside, but the Gamecocks are there. That was a great example by Antonio Allen right there. There's Trotter from the shotgun on third and ten. He's set. One on top. This is the most impressive of all. Number six, Melvin Ingram, used his patented spin move. Watch him. He starts to the right and then spins back to the left on the inside. Right there, up the gut. It's just so hard. Whereas at the 36, it was already almost there. This is second and eight. Trotter play action. Trying to talk it away. The speed of that South Carolina defense tracking him down. It was Melvin Ingram. Last week, their best performance against Vanderbilt. Trotter out of the shotgun on second and eight. Pocket collapses, and they get to him. It's Ingram with the sack. They'll watch Ingram one more time. Here he is right here. You're going to see him coming up uh, actually on the outside. Good job of pressure. They move him around, play him in different positions late on that play and I think the play was designed to either go up the field or come down to Michael Dyer for a nice safe gain and Michael Dyer could have run forever. They go fake field goal. They throw in zone. It's intercepted. Picked off inside the five and guess who? It's Melvin Ingram. Lorenzo Ward, the defensive coordinator for South Carolina, told us that he believes Melvin Ingram is the best athlete on this football team. Look at this. This guy is six foot two, 276 pounds. He played tailback in high school, among other positions, but the guy is truly amazing. He, there's nobody, I don't think, in college football that can do what this guy can do. The South Carolina has had no answer for it. This is second and eight. Trotter. Tracked down by Ingram. Trotter fakes the end around and is buried by Ingram at the 46. And better as you go. You're going to see right here from the inside, he's going to come up the, and make the sack in the backfield. Not, not Nothing fancy, and I don't know how you can leave. Otis thanks Dyer now to 84 yards on the ground today. Kyle Frazier, the freshman, back under center. Russell airs it out instead. He goes to Ballard, and Ballard goes down in a heap. One of the tops in the SEC and sacks and tackles for loss. Take a look at him here. He gets a little chip there. Robertson helps finish him off. Locking has been pretty good for Mississippi State. The pass protection, not this time. And down in a heap thanks to Melvin Ingram. Okay, but not limping here. Must have wrapped that leg pretty tight. Look at him scoop down the line. And help wrestle the ball carrier to the ground. 15 and 0 under Dan Mullen when winning the turnover battle. They're in front in that category here as Russell has a ball deflected and intercepted by the DJ Swearinger. Yeah, let's take a look at it here. This ball does have too much air underneath it, probably because of the hit there or just the pressure coming from Ingram. Can't really step into his throw like you'd like to, and he knew it. Single safety. Brantley is sacked, and it's Ingram. He's back. And you can see it again here. Brantley does a nice job of selling it, but the pressure is upfield. Look at the two ends, including Clowning Company. If they're playing on that opposite line, that disrupts your timing. Well, this should be the replay that they need to see. Five punt blocks this season. So, Joey Scribner, Howard, you're on your best behavior. Get it off quick. Oh, how about a fake to Ingram? All shades of the Georgia game, and the big man will rumble. A first down for the Gamecocks. Change momentum in that game, and look at this. The big guy rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling. Boyd in trouble again. Ingram's got him again. Ingram inside. So here's Ingram working against the guard, David Smith, that just goes right by him. And I'll tell you what, when you line up inside, South Carolina fans or their high school's Clemson fans that type of thing didn't think it was that big a deal as far as this game but certainly they'll take and check in on Case Keenum in the air show Houston's putting up on Penn State guys we'll see at the half Melvin Ingram 
just completely laid out Taylor Martinez. Check him out. He beats his block and shows up in a hurry. Oh, out. my. Defensive lines that have been active and overwhelmed Oregon's offensive line so that LaMichael James didn't have no, anywhere to go. Speaking of which, on cue is Melvin Ingram when you talk about active defensive line.